Welcome back to another episode of Dining with Greatness. This afternoon, we're at the GOAT with Kenny Bates. Kenny, how are you today? Good, how are you? Outstanding. What'd you go with today? Uh, smokehouse cheddar burger and fries. You know, we we talk a lot at work. We work together. And there's a lot of places that boast about having great hamburgers or the yeah. best hamburgers. I don't know that this is the best, but because I had the same thing you did. But it, it, it's certainly in the conversation. It's, um... It's better than I think what other people say is the best burger, but it may not be the best one that we haven't had yet. True, true. But you know, I know last episode we did. I was at the Granville. They have an uh, outstanding hamburger, yeah. but this, this, they're comparable. They're in the same it, ballpark together. I've never yeah. had the hamburger at the Granville. It's great to have Kenny here today because, quite frankly, Kenny has been perhaps our most ardent supporter since the inception of the project. Uh, there's never been any kind of negativity or doubts from him. He thought right from the get-go that this progress or this this project was going to be dazzlingly successful, and so far he's been spot on. Yeah. Uh, so, first of all, let me just thank you for yeah. your support. What, what what did you see about the project right from the get-go that you thought you know what I want to be a part of this? <laughs> Honestly, I I think it would be more entertaining than serious. And come to find out, huge fan base. So yeah, who it's, knew? It's, it's touching but, a, a nationwide audience right now, and we'll, we'll show that later. Well, and after the episode with Jessica at the zoo, and my decision to take it outside with the music in the background, I I really think uh, that I I can put my part together for the show. Kenny's wearing many hats with with the project. I mean, it is primarily by project, but Kenny's kind of helping from a technical aspect. And he's also, uh, we, we seek his input periodically on stuff. And, and like I said, we do work together. And we're, we're fortunate we have a job that allows us to do a lot of things. Yeah. And you've perhaps gotten to do more than, than anybody. Not because you, <laughs> you angle for them, but just because you're always open to, hey, if you need somebody to do this, yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd love to do it. Yeah. Now, you went to Derby a couple years ago. Uh, last year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, several UFL basketball games. Mm -hmm. No football games, though, shockingly. I've had two two games scheduled and I've given both up. Yeah, the football games are a little different. Though. Well, true. But, so, but I prefer football over basketball, personally. Colts games. We go up to Colts yeah, games. Yeah, many of those. Uh, got a couple road trips. Where have you gone on uh, road trips off property? Um, I went uh, a year and a half ago to Las Vegas for five days. Mm -hmm. And then last October, I went to Biloxi, Mississippi for uh, four or five days. Well, one day longer than we thought. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to come back on a Monday and... Uh, Plane, something happened to it mechanically, and come to find out, we were spending the night. Yeah, better find out down here than you know, up <laughs> yeah. there. Especially in October. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, the part I like the most are the concerts we get to go yeah. to over at the Yum Center. I, I just kind of like to go concert by concert, kind of get a little review from you. Okay. Just as to what you saw. Of the ones I've been to or the ones the you've been ones, to? No, yeah, no. I'd like for you to review the ones <laughs> I've been to. No, the ones you've been to. Now, you did share for us, right? Yeah. Give us a lowdown, brief synopsis of how Cher's deal went. You know, uh, Cher was great. I'm a fan of Cher, personally. Um, i trying to think of who was there with her. Uh, I think Cindy Lauper was there. And, I mean, just overall great. It was, for for their age and for as long as they've been around, you'd think that they would, you know, slowly start less dancing and less from an entertainment standpoint and more of just like a... Not really acoustic, but more of that type of setup. They're just standing in front of a microphone. Um, but very entertaining, very energetic. Uh, great group of people went with me. So That's always key, too. Yeah. What about Maroon 5? Maroon 5 was one of the few that I uh, I fought for, cutthroat, to get that. Because uh, I'm a huge fan of Adam Levine and Maroon 5's music in general. And my sister is a big fan of Maroon 5. And she lives out of state. So figured it's a good way to get her up here to visit. So she came to visit for a few days, and we went to the St. Patty's Parade in, in the Highlands, then we went to the concert, and we went out afterwards. But great show. I mean, very, from a lighting standpoint, and a sound, and band music, and it was entertaining by far. How about uh, Shania Twain? You know, Shania was really good. I personally used to like her older music. I don't listen to her much of her newer stuff, but... Um, for her to kind of go with what she's gone through with divorce and you know, and not really being in the spotlight the last few years, to come back and put on that good of a show, um, give her props. And then last, certainly not least, you did the Madonna thing. I did. That was a 
uh, kind of the lesser of many evils. You know, we we got to put in for different concerts. I'm not really a Janet Jackson fan, kind of, but not really. Yeah. Um, wasn't really a fan of uh, Zach Brown Band or any of the other choices, so I, I went with the one that might be the most entertaining. And in its own way, it was. Well, it was very, very long night. But uh, honestly, you go to a Madonna concert, you almost expect something like that. You know, because it's a concert that in this area, it it drew she drew a lot of criticism for it, and everything I read that she supposedly did. I, yeah. My response was, "It's Madonna." What yeah, but it's expect? you know, I expected a little divaness, and for her to you know kind of show up when she did, and to you know do whatever she wanted basically. But I mean, there was a, there was more than an hour in between acts. Yeah, that's that's, she that's a long that's a long time. And it, it, it was just it drew out and just kept drawing out and drawing out. And has there been any show or game or event or anything that you really wanted to do that you didn't get to? Not really. I mean, I was gonna say it, it's I've, funny. I've been to Thunder the last two years, which I enjoy. It's um, kind of funny how it works. There's anywhere from depending on the time, eight to ten of us. I can't ever remember a show or a game or anything that I really wanted to see that. No, we're sending someone else instead. Yeah, it's I just mean, we've we've all kind of got different tastes. So. I, maybe I just can't think of it, but there's nothing on top of my head that I can. But you did miss a concert. What was this? I saw Motley Crue. Oh, I yeah, I did forget about yeah. that. Yeah, Motley Crue. Well, how was Motley yeah. Crue? You know, I, uh, I I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I I know more of their stuff than I thought I did, just mm-hmm. because I didn't realize it was them. Yeah. But uh, someone actually uh, backed out on that the last minute, and I just was free on them. Monday night or whatever night it was. And, well, that's how I got to do my first concert. My first concert was Eric Church, and oh, yeah. that was something that kind of threw together the last couple minutes or last couple weeks. And I was just like, well, yeah, sure. You know, if you need somebody to do it, I'll do it. And I wasn't familiar with any of his music or anything like that, but I, it was it was very good. I, I really had a good time. Yeah. So, you remember buying uh, school supplies in elementary <laughs> school? I guess so. Did you ever have a I don't six, remember high school. Did you ever remember <laughs> did you ever buy a 64 count box of crayons? I'm sure I did. Uh, did you have a favorite color in there? No. No. Not no, brick red or no, but, but you yellow know, green as opposed to green yellow. Well, it, it's funny that, that you mentioned this cuz you know we talk about random stuff at work all the time, but uh, I mention a lot about my favorite color. Mm-hmm. And I would say red, and I don't know if that's because I'm a UFL fan or just because I like red in general. But I own more blue than anything. I, d- I don't know why. Blue is yeah. not my favorite color. But it's one of the few things I'll wear all the time. Did you ever use the sharpener on the back of the oh, 64? Yeah. Was that the biggest racket in the world? Yeah. If you want to ruin a crayon, it was made out of plastic. use the sharpener. <laughs> that, that was horrible. <laughs> so. We're going to do something a little different this time. Uh, Kenny's. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Change we're going to take a break right now. We're going to come back. We're going to make this a two-part episode. I'm honored. We've got enough material. I think we can do it. So come back. We're going to be upset. We're going to delve into the second part here in just a second. <laughs> 